Okay, hold on. I'm recording. I'm recording. All right, Chief. Right, so. Start the beginning, I guess. Yes, sir. So at about 10 p.m., officers were dispatched to 411 Brett here for a family violence call. When they arrived, they made contact with a suspect inside one of the apartments. During that contact, the suspect attacked our, our officers with a knife. Two of our officers suffered uh, stabbing or laceration wounds. They're being treated at a local hospital right now. A third officer fired his weapon and did shoot the suspect. I'm not sure how many times. I, I think it's only once, but I, don't, I can't verify that now. Um, and the suspect is also being treated at one of our local hospitals. Um, as normal, our officers will go on administrative leave. All three of them in this incident will go on administrative leave, even though only one fired their weapon, mostly because they've been injured, it's traumatic, and we need to make sure we clear them up and they're in the right place before they go back to, go back to work. Yeah. The person that had the knife, any motive why he decided to... Yeah, these are, these are very dangerous calls. You know, these are one of the most dangerous calls that we can make. It's a night of uh, alcohol, family, family violence, you know, like, like I've talked about here. And, and our officers are out there trying to do the right thing. And unfortunately, this is what happens sometimes. Do we have charges at this point? So right now, they'll be char the suspect will be charged with aggravated assault on a peace officer. The injuries are not life-threatening, so uh, we'll start with that. Do we know on the body, on the police officer, you want to say where he got cut? I'm not sure where the injuries were sustained at. Uh, I'll know more. I'm going to go visit the officers here in just a minute as soon as I'm cleared up. Veteran officer? I think they're young officers. I don't, I don't know their tenure. But what, all that, as we usually do, will be released within the next few days. And we'll, we'll let you know who the officers were, and, and you'll know their tenure, too. Any message uh, for the community this evening as we, uh, of course, head into the new year with the situation happening today? Well, this is um, indicative of what can happen, you know, in the job and in our community. We're, we're not immune to those same things as other cities. But we have a good agency. We have a great community. I think we keep working together. Our, our, uh, we're, blessed to, we're blessed to be here in Corpus Christi. That's my, that's my message. And, just Being that tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday, the New Year's Day, any way to get hold of anybody at that point for more information? or We have access to our PIOs, right? Don't you have yeah. their numbers yeah. and our call-out numbers? Just follow up on our for Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll be here all weekend. Track. Just yeah. to recap, yeah. did this happen inside the apartment or outside? Inside the apartment. Inside the apartment, inside the apartment. Inside the apartment. yes, sir. Okay. Other people inside the apartment at the time? You know, I, I don't know if the, I don't know where the victim that had originally called. Yeah. Okay. yeah so. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. All right.